This tutorial is a power chart overview for the ambulatory setting. The main points that we're going to touch on is menus, toolbars, the patient defining area, last refresh, table of contents, the home or the quick view, patient lists, and the demographic bar. First, we're going to log in to Power Chart Office as a physician. In Power Chart, some important things to note is the menu bar. Across here, you can get to many different areas of the application by clicking on any of these menu items task, edit, view, edit, patient, link, schedule, or help. Another important aspect of Power Chart is the toolbars. Some important toolbars that we have within this application are the navigation toolbar, also the patient toolbar, the organizer, which has components of all the organizers, and institutional link toolbar, which has the institutional URLs. Right along here, we have Lexicomp, Up to Date, and Mozi. You can do user link toolbar. You can have up to two personal. URLs, which you just right click and customize, and you can add any URL that you would like. Also, the patient toolbar is an important feature. It currently opens to the patient chart, and that's where you'd have your patient toolbar. An example of that is if that we search for a patient. Now you can see that that patient toolbar populates. Another important aspect is the patient defining area. As you can see right here, you can do a patient search in this area as I did before. By typing in the patient's last name, it brings up the patient search box and you can find that patient. So in this case, we can open up another patient called Ambulatory Todd. You can also see that we have two charts open. We have Ambulatory Test and Ambulatory Todd. It also highlights the chart that we currently have open. Another easy way to pull up a patient is your recent pull-down menu. You can pull down any recent patient that's been searched on. Another important aspect of the power chart overview is the last refresh button. Anytime you make changes to a patient's chart, you want to refresh your page. As you can see right now, it's been zero minutes ago since we've refreshed, but it will tick up every time that we have not refreshed. And then you'll click that and it will populate all the information and it will populate any information that you've documented. Something else that's important to know is the table of contents. This is ambulatory specific, so we have the ambulatory summary, quick orders, overview, diagnosis and problems, result review, allergies, medication lists, orders, tasks, history documentation, notes, health maintenance, immunization, growth chart, form browser, patient information, and references. And you can learn more about each of these in other tutorials. The home view within PowerChart is a way for clinicians to organize their day. You have your inbox items on your left hand side, and you have the physician resource schedule on the right hand side of the pane. You can pull up any different physician resource within the home view. So if I wanted to look up another physician schedule, I can type in that physician and see what they have scheduled for that day. Once you've searched on a few physicians, you can pull down the recent tab if you want to know what that schedule is looking like for that day. Another item to note would be the patient list icon. This would be important with the ambulatory setting. You can know and see more on this in other tutorials, but it's important to know where that patient list is located.
The last item that we want to touch on in the overview with ambulatory settings in power chart is the demographic bar. There are some important pieces that you're going to want to know. And up here in the demographic bar, there might be some information that you might need to know, like names, allergies, their MRN number, their clinic pre-reg number, and their location, their date of birth, their age, any isolation codes, their sex, who the attending physician is, or any disease alerts. And that's it for this ambulatory power chart tutorial.